I'm a flex on my ex, flex on a hoe. You still be in my head, so I'ma let you know. I realize how much I want you when I analyze the data that Brooke brought back from the future. The scan showed that the generators are buried in a vault under hundreds of feet of rock. Yes, they are completely inaccessible. In the future, yes. But in our time, that location is directly below the Fullerton building. Which is still under construction. It's mostly just a big hole right now. But the generators are not there yet. Those devices I gave you are designed with coded triggers that can only be set off by Ben's alien forms. If you plant the explosives in the construction site in this time period, they'll still be there in the future. And when Rook Green flashes back to his time, all he has to do is get older me to set off the bombs. Come on, Rook. We've got some bombs to plant. What's going on, everybody? My name is Sophie Natina. Welcome back to Ben 10 Omniverse. In the last episode, what we did is we, as we ran around, is that we went, is that we were in the future and, uh, oh, we discovered the generators and now we're gonna plant bombs in the future in order to not, I, I, I can't remember, it's been a little bit since the last episode, but, I, I can't, I don't remember the top of my head, but that's basically the, along those lines. That's what we did along those lines. And we're starting off with Megawatts. So the easiest enemy you can kill in this game. Ugh, all right. So, first things first I wanted to give off, I want to say, is that I'm officially off of school now. Um, summer basically started for me, so I have a whole wave of content prepared for you all. Like starting off with it with um me finishing Ben 10 Omniverse and me the one I've showcased on another PS2 game, but this game is actually wasn't re was only released wasn't re but the one I, the game we showcased the one I've showcased wasn't released what was not released outside Japan but in fact it was only released in Japan. So yeah. That's really about it. <laughs> but it was only released. Oh. I died. Sorry, but I died. I heard something. Anyway, I'm going to swap out while I'm up with Fulmars because uh, his attack actually knocks out all those crates like this. I can't really tell due to my due to me looking through my laptop, which kind of looks a bit dimmed. I might need to bring up the brightness, but that's fine. But yeah, I'm officially off school now, so that's great for me because I get to work on stuff and I have a few videos prepared. For example, I have a Platinum Trophy video coming out next week. And, uh, I have a few mod showcases prepared, and, and it's actually gonna be a mod that I wish that I should showcase on the day, when it, on the month it came out, but, but I never did. But I never did, because I was so busy with other stuff. You are in violation of several so we gonna head this way. Oh, great. Looks like Dr. Animo is up to something in his neighborhood. He's all about the giant mutant bugs. Alright. Alright. Alright, so now we got Animo with the ants. Who if you don't know like we which we saw a few episodes ago. And the maker wants to basically powering his ants. So that's fantastic, though. Yeah, basically, I'm gonna make a new schedule for summer. Like, 
In fact, I actually am gonna probably make a summer plans video to discuss what I'm gonna be doing. Because I have a few I have a few games prepared. I have a few games prepared. Because I'm actually gonna be making another poll again. I'm actually gonna be making another poll again very soon. Which um I'm not gonna say which games I'm gonna be putting on the poll, I'm actually gonna I'm actually going to be saving it for a... Uh... I'm actually going to be saving it until this game is finished. Alright, now... We have enough to upgrade somebody. Which, uh, I think I have everyone at level... At level 3, at level 2, so you know what? Um, since feedback to my favorite alien, I'm gonna give him level three, which would give him triangle, square, square, triangle, and triangle, triangle, square combo. So, for feedback, he gets roundhouse spin and uppercut zap, which I'll showcase those. Wow, I like that one. And basically, it's the same I mean, with the uh, three hit uh, square combo, but a little, but a little bit more slower, which I'm not really. That's on the Oops, my bad. Let me get the there. And then Alright, let's go. So yeah, we are back in the So yeah, basically our job is to set the bombs and then when we go into the future, which we will uh which will team Ben can detonate them. Which canonically which in timeline wise it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but then again this but then again I don't think half of anything in this series makes any sense, so why am I complaining? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I actually um um last weekend I actually went to to go see Inside Out 2. Which um I thought was a really good movie. It's one it's actually one of my favorites of the year. And I love the original Inside Out, it's one of my favorite Pixar movies. Movies right next to cars. Which um speaking of which I should make a cars video because I do I do have plans on doing Race Arama sometime, if you guys are interested. That Hey, that might be a potent that might be a potential poll. Of course, if I can find a good episode structure, that is, because I don't want any LP of that of that kind. Alright, now for this, I actually would like to say a one little thing. Uh, here, um, enemies can will, will keep on respawning infinitely, so you can basically rack up a bunch of experience points if you want. Or if you're going for the platinum for this game, you can actually use this as a good You can actually have a good place to farm some kills for all the aliens. So if you want to do that then go ahead, but basically this is a good place to farm for experience because the enemies will constantly keep respawning. But I'm actually just gonna solve this puzzle because I need to move on. And plus I'm tight and plus I and plus I got and plus there's things I want to do today. Even though I have nothing else to do. Oh. Yeah, there's a certain order to these, so we're just gonna like rook hold off the ants as long as hold off the ants while I do this. Okay, it's not that. Okay, not that. Okay, it's this. You'll be fine. This, and then you, and then the last one is uh over here. And then more cyber cyber gates. And those. Well, at least their lasers can do friendly fire. 
What did he even know? Slam. Just check. Hey, there you go. Hey, there you go. Uh, this way. Alright, we get another smoothie and we get up. Oh. oh, that's my phone going off again. Alright, my phone's been going off all half we have for the day today. Yeah, I don't know, that's but yeah, so basically now that I'm off school now, I'm actually gonna become a senior, and uh, oh yeah, also I'm actually gonna be turning 18 soon, cause my birthday's on Sunday, so there will not be a video on Sunday, cause I'll be celebrating my birthday. I'm gonna be 18 years old. So I'm gonna be 18 years old. Which I'm gonna be, which is kind of surprising, cause uh, I never thought I would be. I'll be sure, but I'm still there. But I got it. So there you go. Oh, there you go. Nice double kill. Which actually, I'm gonna swap out. Actually, I haven't used the server yet. Actually, I was gonna swap them out, but I want to use them a little bit. I think we're about to hit a save point. Oh, got them both and killed them both in one attack. Oh my god, that range is so yeah, exorbitant range isn't all that good. Cause did you see how he missed that? All of that. Anyway, so it's been like uh, 12 minutes, so I think that's about good. So in the next episode, I'm gonna be doing. I'm actually gonna be uh, what's it? Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna continue on through this stage. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my content, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye.